the eyewitness. Once upon a time, there were three kids playing volleyball at the park. Their names were Michael, Witness and Depresia. While playing heavily, Depresia pushed the ball more than she should have, and the ball ended up going between some big trees. Michael went to catch it, so Depresia and Witness waited for him to come back. As Michael was walking to find the ball, he noticed something hanging on a tree. He went closer to find out what it was. There were some things like big dolls and something like a broken ma machine under the tree. He thought it was some kind of joke, so he continued searching for his ball. After searching for it for a while, he finally found it and returned to his friends. The next day, Michael suddenly woke up because his phone was ringing. He stood up and went to answer it. He noticed that there was no number, but he still answered it. He said, hello, how can I help you? Then a gentle man answered, oh, hi, I'm your friend Liam. I returned to the city last night and I was wondering if you would meet me. Michael thought for a second. Then he said, um, sure, when are you free? How about a day in an hour? He said, okay, said Michael and hung up. One hour later, Michael was ready to go. He called the man again and asked him where they were going to meet. The man told him to meet him in a place full of trees. Suddenly, he, he realized that the place the man was telling him about was there where he was searching the ball the previous morning. So he put on his shoes and started his way to the park. When he got there, he didn't see anybody. He waited and waited really excited to meet his friend until it got late and he said to go back home. But when he made his first step, he felt a hand on his shoulder. He was terrified and because of that, he didn't turn around to see who it was. The person that was holding him took a knife and put it on his neck. Michael could hardly breathe. He tried and tried to get off the person's hands, but he suddenly fell down. After that, the person quickly cut his head and put it with the other heads and bodies he had. Turning around, he saw a kid. So, those big dolls weren't dolls. They were heads from other kids. Like Michael. <sighs> he saw a kid. It was a witness. She had seen everything that had happened. Without wasting any time, the mystery person could witness and took out one of her eyes. The man started running until he got lost. Witness fell down too. Two days later, Depressia happened to find Witness's body. She quickly called the police and then started crying. Then she found the place where the other bodies were. When she left that scary place and returned close to Witness's body, the police had arrived. She told them everything she had seen. The police men quickly carried the bodies into their car and got lost. A day after Depresia heard her phone ringing. She answered it and said hello, but no one answered. The next day, Depresia's mom found her daughter's body lying under her bed.
No one ever knew how the three kids were gone. One theory about depression was that she was named like that because she was depressed about her friend's death and that her true name was Jane. The theory also says that that was the reason she was dead too. And about the witness, people called her out witness because she was found only with one of her eyes. That was how the word eyewitness got its meaning. Well, Michael, nobody knew anything about him. The mystery about that secret person remains lying with the lost kid. The end. Thank you for your attention.